criteria for this tier list is very simple, right? Them at their best. Simple. Them at their best. Them, them at their very best. We need another. Now nah, we can't call it. We need another T. Because I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can put. Like you know, what I mean. But Alan, Alan, fuck, fuck. Way, Waya, Waya is definitely ahead, but I don't know how to rank it. I think mid is excessive. Fuck it, let's leave it like this. Who the fuck is that? Chat, who's that? If I can't recognize him, he's gotta be mid, innit? Oh, Makai. Roy Makai. Roy Makai. I can't put him mid. I, ne I need another tier. I'm going to put another T. Uh, um, how do I create it? Add row below. Put it... Uh, Let's put it decent and then switch them around. I don't know if we're going to need it, but we'll see. Um, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Oh, Yerd Muller. Legendary. Legendary. Straight after the great, straight after the great one himself. Legendary. The numbers speak for themselves. The numbers speak for themselves. Ahead of his time. Um, Patrick. I have a confession to make about Patrick. Like. Patrick was a bottler. Like. I'm, I don't, I'm tempted to put up more for it. Or mid, because maybe by definition overrated. People rate Clivert ahead of Makai. Clivert was extremely overrated. Go ask your pair, go ask your fathers if you guys have one, because of course most of you are, are adopted. Patrick was a elite bottler. He suffered under pressure. He suffered under the occasion. Netherlands, choker. Incredible choker for them. Ajax, he done well. When he came on, went to Barcelona, asked Barcelona fans, choker, choker. Close, overrated as fuck, man. Um, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. You talk about overrated. Zamorano, as an Inter fan, mid. Like, he was iconic. He had moments. But compared to these players, mid. This is mid in comparison to these. We're not comparing, like, these guys to Darwin Nunes or Nicholas Jackson, right? So mid is maybe like, you know, harsh word. Hugo Sanchez, my fucking God, bro. Um, so underrated. So, so underrated. <clears throat> El Nino goes there. El Nino goes there. Benzema. Like... Most of you kids, like, will definitely overrate Benzema. It's a problem. Because they say he won the Ballon d'Or. But that's why maybe this tier, like, I don't know. Should I rank them? Like, so obviously, he's, he's, 
he's somewhere here, right? But also he's overrated. So the overrated kind of fucks it up a bit. You know what I mean? But incredibly overrated. Like, holy shit, bro. People will bring up the Ballon d'Or and the Ballon d'Or, but fuck, man. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, Crespo. In this term, decent. Um, I still believe his best years were with Lazio. Um, when he went, he went Parma to Lazio, then at Milan and at Inter and at Chelsea, he, he never quite hit those heights. T top, top player. Don't get me wrong, but he never quite hit those heights. It is peak, it is peak, but even at his peak, even at his peak, he's a category below. He's a category below. Um, Ibra. For me, one of the most disrespected um, individuals. It, it, like, there's people that think Benzema is better than Ibrahimovic. Honest to God, <laughs> I... I you are lost. Like, you are fucking clueless. And it's mostly Premdars that criticize him. I'm, I'm, unbelievable. It, straight, straight in here. S straight in there. You already know where he's going. <laughs> they talk about the big game playing. Um, but where was he? for Ivory Coast when they needed him the most. How many AFCONs did he win with Ivory Coast or Ivory Coast won with Drogba? Zero. How many AFCONs did Ivory Coast win without Drogba? Already two. Maybe three. I need to double check. Um, big game player, but where was he in the semi-finals of the Champions Leagues against Liverpool? Nowhere to be seen. He turned up in one of them, to be fair. Champions League final against Manchester United. Big game player. Got sent off. Couldn't take the penalty, cost his team. 2012. People talk about 2012. Bullet header, of course, for a fucking play. Incredible. But on the road to get into the final, where was he against um, Barcelona? I'll tell you where he was. Giving away a penalty at the, at the, at the Camp Nou. Giving away a penalty in the final against Bayern Munich. <clears throat> he scored in the, in the, in the first game, but... Camp Nou, giving away penalties. Uh, Thierry Henry. The unfortunate thing with Thierry Henry is that you could make a claim that he's here, which is sad to say, which is extremely sad to say. I'm not going to do it. But there is a case for how much Premters overrate him. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about his finals record, blah, blah, blah. Listen, we're talking this is prime, right? Prime Henry, fuck me, you know? But at the end of the day, go ask French people about Thierry Henry. They believe Benzema's ahead of Henry. They believe Benzema's ahead of Henry. I don't. They think Benzema is better than Henri, and Benzema barely played for their national team. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Thierry Henri, in 98, he wasn't a main player, right? He was at Juventus Eaton bench. <laughs> then came Euro 2000, where, of course, France again, like Henri is getting better and better. Not the main guy, bro. Back up to Trezeguet. Then came the World Cup of 2002. Thierry Henry is the main guy now. This is his team. He's having, he's in his prime with Arsenal. Unbelievable. World Cup 2002, France, grouped. Grouped. Euro 2004, Thierry Henry at his maybe very peak. Very, very peak. With an incredible French team. Thierry Henry, where was he in that Euro 2004? If I'm not mistaken, zero goals. If I'm not mistaken. World Cup 2006. Got to the final, scored a goal because Roberto Carlos let him score a goal against, against Spain. Where was Thierry Henry in the, in the final against Italy? So, now, like I said, so you're like, why don't you put him overrated? Fuck no. Fuck no. I love Henry. But I'm just pointing out the reasons 
why he can never be here. And you can keep going. 2008, Euro 2008, World Cup 2010, you can keep going. We're only taking the primes. I'm with you. Nobody asks you, lazy. Assist 10 De Bruyne just in 2024, 7 Bruno this season, 6 Odegaard this season, 6 Matters this season. <laughs> Stop it, MC, please. Stop it. Stop it. Sorry, Dr. Carlos Brasi. Bobo Vieri. Bobo Vieri. Um, Bobo Vieri. Better than Shearer. Let's get that fucking out of the way. B better than Ellen Shearer. You know, like again, Premters, you fucking wouldn't know. Better than Ellen Shearer. Better than fucking George Weyer. Yeah. <laughs> Vieri. <laughs> you, you'll never know. You'll never know just how good this guy was. You'll never get it. You will never get it, unfortunately. Top. Tank. Holland. Holland before Holland was Holland. David Villa. You know my opinions on him. Hey, you autistic camel. You said you are rating them at their prime, not at their worst. <clears throat> Ruud van Nistelrooy. Can someone explain to me why this guy doesn't get mentioned in, uh, in all-time debates? Premier League all-time strikers. Can someone tell me why the hell this guy doesn't get mentioned? Can someone tell me why on earth this guy is in conversations? He's in conversations, but he's not. Because I don't fucking get it. I don't understand it. Like I said, either you guys don't watch football or you don't know shit. You don't understand it. There's no other fuck. There's no other explanation. There's no other explanation. The King Alfredo. <laughs> he wasn't a striker. Uh, he, he, you know, these are number nines. Like, if you're going to put him in this, you can put Messi, you can put, you can put, um, you can put Cristiano to some degree. Gabi goal. Oh, sorry. Butter goal. At their prime? Gotta be. Gotta be. Um, Jesu. Where do I begin? Jesu. <laughs> Jesu. Oh, sorry. That's Puskas. My bad. Fernetch. He'll, he'll stay where he is. That's Puskas. My bad. I couldn't tell black and white. Sorry. Black and white. That's Fernetch. 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 As a pure number nine, you could make the case. The problem with Fernetch was... He didn't care about his, 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 his shape. He didn't care about what he ate at that time. He could have been an even bigger killer, but natural born killer. He stays there. Butty, I got to put him ahead of Thierry Henry. I have to put the Butty goal ahead of Thierry Henry. I simply have to. Um, if, you, if you compare them by their composition, it's a striker. A striker's, a striker's job is to score goals. This guy has the best shot out of probably all of these players in here. The amount of power he could generate behind his shots, unbelievable. Considering the team that he played for, um, the things he done for Argentina, incredible. World Cup 98, if it wasn't the most stacked World Cup of all time, Argentina would have won that one. He would have been top scorer, main man, and he would have gone down along the li alongside the likes of uh, Diego and, uh, and Leo. Que jogador, que jogador, Mario da puta que jogador, Mado, Mado, ma que jogador, Jesus, Jesus, Raul.
Can someone again talk to me why this guy is not in conversations? Can someone please explain to me why, why he's not in conversations? Because I don't freaking get it. Because I don't freaking get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, killer. He had everything. Movement. Pace. Finishing. Link-up play. Everything. Complete. Complete. Marquez jogando. Marquez jogando. Romário. One to three Brazil. One to three Brazil, and I can't see it be displaced. One to three Brazil. One to three Brazil. I can't see it. I can't see it changing. Mado. One, two, three, Brazil. One, two, three. People say Romario was a box player. He was the best in the world in the box. The best in the world inside the box. But don't think for some reason he was a Haaland type of player. With all due respect to Werlin Haaland. Okay? Because... This motherfucker could dribble. This motherfucker could dribble. Complete. Way ahead of his time. In the sense that... Just disgustingly underrated. If he came about nowadays... Madu. Madu, Madu, Madu. Somewhere. He'll slot right here. Right in between Lewandowski and Ibra. Eto is better than Lewandowski. Not better than Ibra. But he's slow right in there. The greatest African player of all time. Period. He was better than Puskas. He was better than Puskas. I don't want to hear it. I don't put him ahead of Romario. But he was better than Puskas. My guy. My guy Ice. My guy Ice. Incredible. Incredible. Out. Rageous player. Stalking about ahead of his time. He could do everything, chat. Everything. He carried teams on his back in 1966. The World Cup, you guys, England won by freaking robbing. This guy played solo. Averaged three goals a game. Three goals a game. And then Benfica as well. He done it for Benfica. He done it for Benfica as well. Incredible. Okay, this is a problem because he's not a striker. He's not a striker. But, but it, he's not a striker. He's not a striker. But if you're talking about prime, if you're talking about prime, and you're talking about prime for prime, then he goes top of the grades. Then he goes top of the grades. But, but he's not a striker. But he's not a striker. Aubameyang, incredibly underrated. Incredibly underrated. I, I can't put you ahead of them, but incredibly underrated. Gary Lineker. Mid. Aubameyang is better than Gary Lineker. I don't want to freaking hear it. The greatest striker of this century. The greatest striker of this century. To people that think any of these players here or here is better than him, with all due respect, find a different sport to watch. Because this sport is not for you. This sport is not for you. Is that my boy Klinsmann? Slot him right there. Is that Ruman? It doesn't look like Ruman. Who's that? 
R9 was this century. No, no, no. I, Prime R9 was not this century, you nimwit. But you wouldn't know, you stupid idiot. Oh, Jean-Pierre Papin. Fuck me, overrated as fuck. To be fair, Milan destroyed him. Milan destroyed him. Milan completely destroyed him. Which, which is the same, but... My Henrik Larsen. The skies are great. Underrated. So fucking underrated, bro. Incredible player. Um, extremely underrated. Extremely. Extremely. Fucking can. Extremely. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we got a killer. I, 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 I slot him in between. I, I slot him in between. Um, my God, my God, my God. Marquez Jogador. Marquez Jogador. Mado. Mahio da Puta. Good evening, Rossifine. Mahio da Puta. Sheva. Mado, Mado, Mado. Mado. Soccer. Top. Top, top, top. Top, top, top. What he done with Croatia. Incredible. Incredible. Mario Kempes. It's tough. It's tough. Probably somewhere here. It's tough. It's tough. You know, his legacy was um, overstated, so to speak, because or underrated, maybe to some degree, because of what Argentina done to win the World Cup in '78. But take nothing away from him. He he was a top top player. Again, very complete. Could do everything. Finish. Shoot. Link up. Pass. And he had a fantastic attribute anticipation the guy always knew exactly where he needed to be and his reaction time was immaculate um but, but i struggled to put him ahead of george ahead of sergio bob or raul i can't i can't i can't stoichkov a bit tough because he, he wasn't a pure nine again in in the sense of the word but but it, but he's got he's got to be somewhere here he's got to be somewhere here you know, technically gifted, technically in immaculate. Maybe we could have split these into two tiers, by the way. But at this point, it's, it's, it's too late. We just go with it. <clears throat> Waza. We're talking prime for prime. Waza. <clears throat> somewhere there somewhere there somewhere there w would you take Rooney ahead of any of these players no 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 the Rooney Aguero one is always a tough debate as a nine which maybe this, well, this is what this list is but maybe not you maybe you take Aguero but, but prime for prime Wayne Rooney for me and people ask what's Wayne Rooney's prime I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly when Wayne Rooney's prime, 2006, maybe even 2005, maybe even 2004. That's that's for me prime Rooney. That's that's that's. And if we're talking under 20s, he'll be only second to him at that age. Incredible. Oh, the um, is that what's his name? The Iran guy, right? What's his name? In this list. Mid, mid, mid. Maybe ahead of, top of mid. Ali, Ali, Ali. Dennis Law. Hmm. You guys don't remember him, but listen, out, out of respect, I'll put him mid. I'll put him mid. Not better than Gary. I'll put him mid. Um, he actually played for both United and Manchester City. My problem with him was, this guy was tiny, bro. Like, he was tiny as fuck. In the modern game, I think he would have struggled. What he excelled with was, again... Fantastic anticipation, fantastic smell of danger, but I, ca I can't put him ahead of any of these. Ahead of any of these. Is the Alfredo? He's not a pure striker. He'll have to go ahead of Romano. He's not a number nine. Overrated. Overrated. Um, like I said, it doesn't mean that he's necessarily not better than some of these, but listen, overrated as fuck. Like, if people think that 
Robin Van Persie, for example, was better than Ruud Van Nistelrooy. I can't find a different sport. Uh, he, listen, he had an incredible couple of years, and this is based on their prime, um, which I don't disagree with. Actually, it has to be. I, mean, I don't know if we're ranking these. Drogba was better than him. Um, but listen, like, for just a couple of years. But at the end of the day, the way people talk about this guy is, is incredible. Like, okay, outrageous shot, fair fucking play. But he, he was wasteful as well. He, he, he wasn't the killer you think he was. He developed into that shoe a couple of years ago, 30 goals, but he was wasteful. He was wasteful. And our fans will tell you that. United fans, fantastic year that he had. What happened after that? Boom, boom. Van Nistelrooy ahead of Van Persie all day long, and I can't put, put him ahead of any of these players in no way, shape, or form. Rudy Voller, decent. I'll, ch I'll chuck him there. Decent player. Uh, and last but not least, so we're, we're, we're talking prime, remember. We're talking prime. If we're talking prime, he's in this conversation. Like, would you take prime Owen or prime Aguero? Um, okay. If we're talking prime Owen, prime Shearer, give me prime Owen all day long. All day long. Maybe Ellen could bump one here. Oh, stuff. Um... That's an outrageous list. If there was Van Busten, if Van Busten was here, Van Busten would be somewhere here. If he was in this list. Um, but the question, the main reason we even made the steer list is to answer one question. Oh, did Rooney go down? Nah, I take Rooney ahead of Owen. For sure, Rooney ahead of Owen. Something like that. Something like that. Um, that's it. Lock it in. Then, now, you're like, oh, but this is subjective, Gareth, right? No, not when I do tier list. It sounds arrogant, but th this, this, is, this is factual. Like, with all due respect, I've watched football longer than you guys have been alive. I watch more football matches in one weekend than you guys watch in a month. It sounds arrogant. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, but I have to say it. Like, this is the official list. Um, I wanted to do always like do one of these. But what was the main purpose of even doing this list? The, the main purpose. The main purpose. No, no, no. It, no. Him being here. That's why it's a bit deceiving. Isn't it? Him being here doesn't necessarily mean that like, he's better than, than these guys are. But these guys are just overrated. If you have to rank them, obviously, most of these will go in great. But it's overrated. Now, <clears throat> here we are. The main reason why we've done this was to answer the question. To answer the question of where does he rank in this list? We, we all watch him. We all understand. Like, for me, Assuming Holland exists, right? And we're talking about this current version of him, which isn't fair to him because I think he's going to get better. But if we're taking this current version of Holland, for me, he goes. For me, he goes. I think he goes here. For me, he goes here. The question is how much, how much more can he eclipse? Why are you putting question marks? Why are you putting question marks? He goes here. Now. I think he can easily eclipse. I think he can easily eclipse all of these. I think he can easily eclipse all of these. This is going to be tough. 
I think he can easily end up in here. I think he can end up bottom of legendary. What a fucking list, bro. I'm so proud. I'm so freaking proud, man. Like, chat, we got it spot on, by the way. Like, fucking dead on, spot on. Holy shit, man. Like, literally, you can't even make a single argument about this list. Even the, the order is fucking perfect. Like, it's literally perfect. Haaland, Haaland is here. For now. But I, can, I, mean, I can easily chuck him here. Easily chuck him here as well. Fuck, easy. Tweet it. Bro, I don't really tweet anymore, Jan. Where would you put Mbappe in this list? Right behind Haaland. Right behind Haaland. I mean, if you're talking about number nines, in it, which this list is number nines primarily, would I take Mbappe ahead of Lewandowski? Um, so somewhere here, probably. Shut up, you know what? I'm glad that we had. I'm glad that we had time to make this list. I really am glad. I really am glad because it's factual, it's undisputed, and with all due respect, you can't debate it. Harry Kane, Can Harry Kane, I put here. 10. Harry Kane, I put here. I can't take Kane ahead of Aguero. I'm sorry. And Kane, Rooney, I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I didn't. I never said that. I never said that. I said when all is said and done, for sure. For sure. I think there's a conversation to be made between Mbappe and Henri. But if you're talking number nines, nah. Um, if you're talking overall, but that's the thing. People ask Mbappe. Mbappe is not a striker, right? The same way he's not a striker. So it's tough. If you're taking number nines, Henri is a better number nine than Mbappe, for sure. If you're talking player, like who would you rather, Mbappe on the wing, Henri down the middle, there's a conversation. But 